extending. We can use extend command to extend lines and arcs and, and open polylines, etc. And we want to extend to what's called a boundary edge. It's how far we want to uh, extend something. So uh, I'm going to modify this a little bit. I'm going to come back here and say, all right. So let's say I want to extend this line so it comes all the way up to this line. We're going to go up to the extend command. I'm going to come over here and underneath the trim command is the extend command. It says select objects or and the select objects is we're going to select the boundary edge. This is going to be my boundary edge. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to hit enter. Now we'll say we'll select the object to extend. This is the item that we want to extend. So I pick on it. It'll extend all the way up to the boundary edge. Then I hit enter. Okay. Maybe I'll do that one more time. I'm going to bring this one down a little bit here. All right. Maybe I'll even do it at an angle here. And now I'm going to go up to the extend command. It'll say select objects or. Uh, select all. I'm going to select my boundary edge. This is the limit of where I want to extend it to. Then I hit enter to finish my boundary edge selection. Now I want to select the objects I want to extend. I pick on that. I pick it. And then I hit enter or exit, uh, escape to exit out of the command. And that is the extend command. We can also use the extend command with, yeah, hang on, with a crossing option. So I can go up to extend and in this case uh, I want to extend these lines up to the to the rectangle there. So my first one is the, the select objects or extend. I want to select the boundary edge. I want all these things to come up to this rectangle. So I'll pick on that and I'll hit enter. Now I'm going to pick my crossing box, but note here I'm going to pick down here from the lower right to upper left is my implied crossing. Right? Now notice on the right side the three lines are not in the crossing. I mean they're not being cut by the crossing lines. All right? And the other ones are kind of being cut in half by the crossing lines. I'll pick and notice these lines here, I'll hit enter to finish the command. These lines extended to the objects, these ones did not. In order to get these, they have to be cut by the crossing window. So I'll do that one more time. I'll say extend. I'll pick this as a boundary. I'll hit enter. And now I can do a window and pick those and they'll extend. So the, you have to cut through the objects with your crossing window to get them to extend. And we also can use a fence option. The fence option is like a picket fence. I can go up to extend, select my boundary objects. In this case, I got more than one boundary object. I got these three lines. Then I hit enter. Now, I could go around picking these things individually if I wanted to, but I'm going to go and choose the fence option. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and pick with a little picket fence and then when I'm done I hit enter and now I can hit enter the escape or hit the escape key and I finish the command and I extend those lines up to my boundary line.